it's too late when it comes to climate change. It's urgent, and we can all talk about it, intellectualize it, but really it's got to come from your stomach and your heart. I was painfully shy. You know, I went through a lot of things in my childhood that actually really made me just so self-conscious, and I just hate this feeling. I just really wanted to just bust out. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> literally. And um, I realized there's probably something more I should be sharing this attention with, something more meaningful than my boyfriends and my boobs. That's what I actually like with your activism, uh, because you are reminding us of that. You know, you are reminding us that we have to act in yeah. any way in which we can. There won't be any sea fish by 2050, according to the scientists. We are eating microplastics. We will have something what some authors do refer today as uninhabitable Earth. And if we do soon don't, first of all, reconceptualize our categories, what does sovereignty mean in that way? Is it the government who, who has the responsibility or do we need a global world government where all the citizens of the world will say, fuck off, we don't want fossil fuel anymore, you know? I wish I could do more. I feel a responsibility. I want to do something. I'm mad as hell. I don't want to take it anymore, this whole thing. It's so crazy. It's just like we all have to be this impassioned and we have to use whatever we have. We have to follow David Bowie and his song Heroes. Everyone can be a hero for a day. And not only Pamela Anderson, not only activists, you can all be heroes for a day. Finish. Well, I, if I can be effective, anybody can be effective. <laughs>